here I am. Hopefully there you are. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of our floor plan and layout as best as I understand it will happen tomorrow at setup. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if you're not here, um, definitely take a look at this so you're more or less familiar with how things are going to go. Um, and thank you so much for coming on a Saturday, by the way, for a setup, um, which in a lot of ways is way more complicated for people than a Sunday. So I don't take that lightly and Lee and myself definitely really, really appreciate that because this is going to help us do things right on Sunday, figure everything's out, everything out. And, and we may have some good news for you too on some of those fronts. So anyhow, this is, uh, uh, a flow chart basically, but I just turned it into a, a power signal plan and layout sort of thing. It's called Lucid Chart, and um, I'm going to send you in text some uh, links so you can access this um, if you want to talk about it later if I'm not um, available and you want to check something on your own or whatever, okay? So there's a couple different layers here, power signal, layout, that sort of thing. So I'll be kind of shuffling um, around that <clears throat> and explaining this a little to you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not awesome to hear me clear my throat so much, but I haven't been talking for much of the last hour, so uh, I guess I'm, I don't know, not super used to it. Okay, so um, this is the gym the new gym. It's a big basketball court left to right, as you can see here. And there are bleachers, double layer bleachers, actually. There's bleachers that extend down to the court, and then there's a second level mezzanine and bleachers that keep going up on both sides. You don't see everything on this other side here. Over on this left side is a large entrance, kind of atrium or something like that on the lower level. So even though this says second level in the gray, that's the mezzanine level, that's um, the second level. But it, it, we're going to bring our equipment in through that atrium, and we're going to come in this door right here and uh, do all our work here on, on the floor. Now, these bleachers may or not, may not be out at that time. I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but there should be plenty of time, plenty of space to, to get through here. Um, this brings us to the first point, which is floor protection. They are pretty picky about that secondary gym, and they were super duper picky about the floor in here. It's their nicer gym. We definitely want to take care of it. So we will uh, do that by placing carpet on the stage um, area here. That's what the square represents. Um, there will also be pressed board underneath the speakers. Uh, pressed board is like a eighth of an inch kind of fiber board, real heavy duty, but lightweight. Um, and then we'll also have possibly fiber board here on the first row in front of the bleachers for a row of chairs that may be sitting there for handicap, like uh, access or people in wheelchairs or whatever, who, whoever can't climb the stairs, older folks um, who aren't too happy about the stairs. So... <clears throat> And let's see here. Oh, we will also have pressed board little squares under each pipe and drape base. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. How many there are, we should have enough of those for us on Saturday. Because uh, those little foamy things that we usually use, just they're not, they're not heavy duty enough and they don't extend out past all those sharp metal edges. So we're going to make sure that we uh, do not have any uh, possible problems with that. Now, I'm not sure about this, but from what I've heard, we're actually <laughs> supposed to put something down across our travel path with our cases from from here. Like anytime we roll anything or place anything on the floor, it's supposed to be covered. So this may be pressed board, our, our you know our path from the the doors here all the way over to the stage area. Um, it may be a, a roll of carpet or something that we lay out. So that's that's to be determined. But generally, we want to be super duper 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 careful about um, anything that we do. For instance, 
<clears throat> when we when we place lids down from the cases, we can't just uh, do that, you know, as uh, thoughtlessly as maybe we have in the past. We need to be really careful about placing um, them in the, you know, a, a way that would be the least contact um, as possible. We'll walk through that all tomorrow. If you have any ideas, just bring it up. So uh, first bit of good news is regarding the stage. For this first Sunday, we're going to try to like not even have a stage. We're just going to have the band and everybody on the carpet and see how it goes since all the audiences would, uh, all the audience members would be up here in the bleachers. They would have no visibility problems, so we don't necessarily need an elevated stage. We're going to see how the perception is, and um, if we keep it that way, man, that's going to save a lot of dang time, which is going to be great. So let's move on to power. Let me bring out the power layer here in a minute, but all these triangles you see are power. Uh, outlets and they're n named different letters because they're on if they're the same letter they're on the same circuit which means it's basically like plugging a, a bunch of stuff into one outlet because they share the same circuit breaker back in uh, the breaker room so you'll see that some of the outlets aren't used and that's going to be because that other outlet that you see on the wall is shared on that same circuit so we don't want to put too many things on one outlet like too many hair dryers or too many toasters it's going to trip a breaker and take our service down in one way or the other so we're going to be very careful about that which brings us to the other point why do you why would we be using building outlets if we have a generator and a power distribution unit well um, since this building is newer and has more uh, separate out uh, excuse me outlets and circuits to use we don't necessarily need the generator possibly which will be a cost savings to us uh, big time. And uh, we'll have a couple more extension cords laid out around the building uh, than we're used to, um, less of a central place for that power, but I think we can do it. So let's take a look at the power. <clears throat> I started labeling some of these things. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen exactly what th with this, but this is one of the ways it could happen. Take a look at front of house position here with the soundboard and the video equipment right in front of the bleacher area. There's uh, power right here in, in the bleachers, actually on the front row. We'll pull that, uh, pull from that for our uh, front of house equipment plus our confidence screen. Then you'll see here outlet A, circuit A, uh, may be able to feed the stage. There's also a possible outlet back here. This is back in the hallway or the atrium by the trophy case on the left. And then over here on the right, we've got two, possibly three outlets we can pull from. I'm thinking about taking that uh, snake that we typically connect all our power for front of house all the way over here to our distribution unit, taking that big stakes, snake of four heavy duty power uh, extension cords, ex essentially, and uh, breaking it apart and feeding power from these three separate circuits here and bringing it over to the stage for everything that we need for our uh, audio Dante boxes for the drum set and instruments and that sort of thing. So, and also the stage rack would need uh, a couple of separate things for it too, since it has amplifiers and all sorts of other equipment in it. Uh, the other side of the bleachers has also power in it that's on its own circuit. We'll pull from that for the projectors and the drums, something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly what's on here, but we'll decide that together. If you have a question, just let me know. Now, moving on to our light positions, which are on the mezzanine level to the left and right. Uh, we will be pulling, there's some hallway power on this side. I believe there's hallway power on this side too, over here uh, at G position. So I'm pretty sure there is, if I took the right notes, anyhow. So it's going to power our lights right there. So I will send you guys this for, to be able to see all this on your own and be able to reference it if you need information. Okay, so let's go on to signal. Take that away. Boop -boop. Boop -boop. Boop. There we go. So signal is in blue. We'll use the same 
signal snake of EtherCon connector connected Ethernet cables. It's the one that's real stiff and hard to wrap. It's four of them, right? And that's going to go from our front of house position here, sound and video, and it's going to go to the stage rack as usual. And we'll just take that around the side like we typically do in the other building. Uh, with the video part of it, um, we'll actually take that straight from the video cart HDMI to the confidence monitor. I'll show whoever does that part of it tomorrow exactly what to do. It'll just be a long HDMI cable. We may do the same thing from the video straight video cart straight to the projector because I've been having trouble with the signal snake. Possibly one of those lines is, is bad and it's been a big, big, big headache. So um, that may be a possibility that we use for that. By the way, the projector is going to be sitting not on a rolled up gymnastics mat, but it'll be sitting on a tripod platform, basically a little platform that sits on top of like one of the light stand um, tripods, one of the lighter duty ones. And um, yeah, so that basically talks about audio and video for that. Now you may think, what are these dotted lines here? They represent a wireless DMX signal that would go to the light stands. Typically, our light stands have those has data and power that come from the front of house position. But because of how we're doing this and where we're we putting this light stands, possibly, uh, we're coming ready with some wireless DMX, which we'll fiddle with that today, uh, excuse me, tomorrow, and uh, figure that all out. But that would originate from the front of house position where the light computer is, and it would just broadcast to little receivers over here for uh, the light trees. All right, so let's... Take that away. Speaking of the lights, um, we, we will switch to using light duty tripods. So we're not having to take humongous light stands up to the second level. And we'll probably only hang two or three spots on each one. Those house lights will also be around this area on stands. We will possibly only use two for now, though. All right, so just to recap things that we're not using, uh, the stage, we're going to try that out tomorrow. We're going to set everything up on two long rolls of 12-foot wide carpet, outdoor car carpet, see if that looks decent. And we're not using the generator, hence the more complicated power plan and we're not using the big light stands. Uh, but we're subbing those in for less lights on the lighter duty tripod stands. So um, <clears throat> some things just to reiterate we'll talk about tomorrow also is we have to have in our mind all the time that we're even more of a guest that's very, very cautious and measured in everything we do in this building than we ever were in the other building. The reason why we're in this building is because we were trustworthy and treated their stuff nice. And I mean, we, we messed up sometimes and gouged their floor and scratched things up a, a few times, but we were really upfront about it and really tried to make it right. So uh, we've really built up a lot of trust and hopefully relational credit with, um, with Northgate and the leadership and administration. And, and they've been able to give us some flexibility in this area. So that's super, super awesome. And we want to make sure that we're even more careful and don't abuse any of that uh, latitude that we've been given. So anyhow, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Thank you so much again for being available for this special setup time. I hope with some of these simplifications, we can keep the later setup time on a normal Sunday morning, which would be amazing. And uh, hopefully it'll continue to be a great time of fellowship and, and ministry uh, for everybody, I know we don't. None of us want to be doing this forever, uh, but remember, man, this is this is eternal stuff that we're investing in right now, and uh, not just the encouragement and edification of our brothers and sisters in Christ, but also just random people who may be invited to come in the doors of a church that's in a gym that has friendly and um, intentional people. 
here focused on things that are eternally significant. So anyhow, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and continuing on this adventure with you. See you guys later.